Hello guys, this is day 3 of Advent of Cyber 2 which is the Christmas Chaos and let's get started. So this room basically focuses us on teaching verb suit. So if you don't know, don't worry, I'll take you step by step through this and I'll keep explaining you and each and every part what we have to do. So this is the our IP address for this page and over here we need to do brute force. Alright, so basically we just need to use these three usernames and the three passwords so you might be thinking what is the need for using uh, verbs so you can just try three three it might be nine combinations that's all but still i think learning verbs is still great and i'll just take you through the entire step so firstly in kali linux you might need to type this verb suit and you need to, you need to open this up and it will take some time to open and let's see so, mm, till the time Bob suit opens, let's do that configuration thing. So, that configuration thing is that you need to go in settings, you need to go in general, you need to go down in network settings, and then go to manual proxy conf configuration and just copy everything as it is. Just make sure everything is just the same. It should be 12700. This is the verb suit opening message here. Yeah. Should be just 127001 and this should also be and let me start verb suit. Yeah. And okay. So let and this should be let me set it to manual. The port should be 8080 and this should be 127001. So I hope this is the one which you guys copy, just copy this exactly the same. And I have clicked on OK. So right now I'm ready for verb suit. So when you open verb suit, you see something like this. And also if you see a message like this, which I find kind of irritating, an update is available. So just now, how to update this thing? I have also made a video on this. So I'll put that link in the description on how to update verb suit. So you can close it, and I'll just update the verb suit, verb suit after this video. So in proxy, let me turn it off. Everything is working fine. All right. Now, when I turn the proxy as like intercept is on, when I do that, now uh, intercept is on. First it was off. Now it is on. Now if I reload it, first the incoming will come here, and then only if I will forward it, then this will load. So again, when I reload this, I got a connection here, and I can send it here. So firstly, just just try with a random username and password like Bryce B R S E and I'm just trying a random username and password and let me sign in. So whatever request which was going to the server carrying these two data that I want to connect in as a username Bryce with the password as Bryce. So please let me connect. This request was going and Burpsu just stopped in between. He said hey you can't go. Firstly Burpsu right now has this request. And now what I will do is that I can I'll send it to repeater, I'll send it to intruder, you can send it to anywhere. So there I'll tell you the difference. Repeater is like you send a response and you get a result. Like firstly when I type Bryce and Bryce, let me try Bryce and Bryce, I get some incorrect or something, it doesn't just work, that's it. Just like that, when I tried Bryce and Bryce, it's the same thing which I am receiving. It says username incorrect. See? So now this is repeater. But I also send a request to intruder. What intruder will do is that firstly you can just skip the target part. Let's go to the positions. Now in positions, what intruder does is that you can actually in this parameters, both of these parameters, you can try many many values, you can just pass the list. So that's the difference. In repeater you can just change it one by one. So maybe password price you can do it one, two, three, four. And it's doing one, two, three, four, change over here is the same like you are typing in one, two, three, four over here. So this is for one, one change and in today is for typing a whole list. So firstly, even though if you are here, I would like to clear this and I'll make new this thing like I have clearly made up added this new this symbol so what this does is that anything which is between two 
like snake symbols i don't know what that symbol is is considered as the position where the payload will go so what is that payload payload is that word list which we are going to use so just that word list is what it is now attack type sniper is for one one we have two so we can't use sniper battle ram battle ram is i think for using same yeah i think it's using for same password same like admin admin one two three one two three four five like four four not the same we are going to use and pitchfork is for pitchfork is maybe for that thing where i choose one password and the second password is the same that's pitchfork i guess i can even search like sniper okay pitchfork cluster bomb and here it is so as you can see clearly says that sniper is for single set of payloads like single set of word list where we can try for example if the username was known to be admin and the password we have to try different types of passwords so a password list would contain thousands of passwords so there would be only one payload one place where we need to attack then we might have chosen sniper then battle ram is for let's see it's again for yeah battle ram is again for single payload what will happen is that the same thing will go twice again like like i explained five five admin admin vice price and battle ram that was battle ram which folk will try it passwords like admin roger then a b then c d like oh wait, then one 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 it won't repeat itself maybe that is actually how it is not we cluster bomb will try each and every password from the payload which you enter yeah that is cluster bomb so again let me put this and make a payload of this and let me select this to cluster bomb cluster bomb will just try each and every password and then i'll go to payloads so see as you can see there are two payloads so the first payload belongs to the first marker which i set and the second payload belongs to the second marker which i set so now they are telling me to add the word list so we have been given a word list which is root admin user so let's type root admin user and that's it now then for second page second list let's try root password and 1 2 3 4 that's it so which will try my total of nine combinations due to cluster bomb and let me start the attack and you need to click on okay so first it tried root with root then it tried admin with root then it tried user with root then root with password and this is how it kept going so out of all of these which one do you think could be the one which logs us inside so looking at the status everyone gives 302 so this this gives us nothing nothing over here but in the length section if you might notice there is only one place which seems a little off with the username as admin and the password as 12345 since we know the length is less that means there might have been some changes in the page for example there might be some length of this page for but if i type in the correct username which is admin a d m i n and the password was 12345 and now if i sign in as you can see the page has changed and the change in page clearly allowed us to um, you know just we just logged inside like the change in page was actually seen over here with where we see 255 because this is a different page with a different size so you can just copy this and paste it here and i hope you like this video please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time Bye bye. And to shut down all of this, you just need to go back to preference again, and then again you need to go to settings and do to auto, and click on OK. That is done. And for the burp sound part, you can just shut it like this. That's it. So I hope you like this video. Like and subscribe, and see you next time.